Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Publisher Rocket to find profitable keywords for the niche that you're publishing in. So Publisher Rocket is a paid tool. It doesn't come for free. And if I go over here, you can see that uh, going to this tab here, you can see that it costs $97 for the tool. And if I scroll down, you can see that uh, you get complete access to it and also you just pay for it once some other keywords tools out there require you to pay for a monthly subscription but that's not the case with publisher rocket you just pay a lump sum and then you can use it for life the benefit of using publisher rocket is that not only does it speed up the keyword research process but also it gives you valuable data related to specific keywords so if i go back over here and click on this tab and if I just type in a keyword, for example, camping journal, you can see that it gives you a bunch of keywords that you can use. So in order to get the data, you have to press these buttons. So if I want data for this particular keyword, then I have to press this button. And then for the next keyword, the button corresponding to that, etc. I'm not sure why you have to do this. And in fact, it can be a little bit annoying, but that's just how it is. And that's just how Publisher Rocket works. And you can see here that it gives you valuable information. So firstly, how many pages of books appear for the particular keyword, the number of competitors, the average price, average monthly earnings, estimated searches, and also a competitive score. And if you're interested in Publisher Rocket, then I do have a link to it in the description below. Feel free to check it out if you wish to do so. However, if you're just starting off and you know you haven't made much in royalties yet, then I wouldn't recommend that you spend any money on a keyword research tool. And the reason for it is because you can do keyword research through a free method. Even though it's going to take you a little bit more time, I'd still go with the free method just because you're only starting off and you're not making much in royalties yet. And I have a video showing you how to do keyword research for free. And if you're interested in that, then go ahead and check out the video. You should have a card above you. If you want to go ahead and click on it, then you can do so. I'll also leave a link to it in the description below. So there's many ways to use Publisher Rocket. If I go back over here and then click on home, you know, it's useful in many ways, searching for keywords, analyzing competition, searching for categories, etc. But for this particular video, I'm going to focus on keyword research. So I'm going to assume that, you know, you've already found your niche and you've already created your cover and interior for that particular niche. So I'm going to use the example of camping journal. So the first thing you want to do is start off on Amazon because you're going to need keywords to type in into Publisher Rocket for it to work. So if I scroll down, you can see that there's all these keywords that I can start off with. So the first one being camping journal. So that's the keyword that I already typed in and I showed you guys. So if I go back to it, you can see that there's all these long tail keywords that contain the keyword camping journal. So what you have to do is go through these keywords and find something that's relevant to your book and keywords that you can use either in the front end or the back end of your books. So you can see that this particular keyword it has a lot of competition but i'm not going to ignore it totally it is a keyword that i may come back to later on so what i'm going to do is open up google sheets so going back over here i'm just going to open up google sheets so i just have a blank sheet open so i'm going to type in this keyword because it's a keyword i might potentially use either in the front end or the back end so camping journal and then the next keyword I'm going to analyze is, like I said, you want to look through them. You don't need to analyze everything. So camping journal and travel logbook, I'm going to analyze this keyword. And then sometimes it can take a little bit of time for it to load. So I'm going to grab this keyword as well and then just type it in. And then you want to grab a few more keywords. So going back over here, if your book is for kids, you might want to check out this keyword as well. So you can see that the main data that I'm looking at is the competitive score. So ideally what you want to do is have that score within the green zone. So you want to grab a few green ones. And then for some of them, you'll also see them as orange, which means that they have medium competition. Let me just see if I can find one of them. So I can't find any orange ones for this particular keyword. But what you want to do is also grab singular words that you can also add in in the back end of your books. So for example, you can see that there's the word adults, couples, girls, 
and then you can also add boys as well so I'm just going to create a column for these singular words as well so adults couples kids so the first column is for long tail keywords you're going to use in the back end and the second column is for other related keywords that you're going to use to fill up the gaps in those seven keyword boxes so if I go back to this tab let me just grab another keyword that I can search for so RV logbook so I'm just going to type that in and then just analyze all of them so you can see here that I found a medium competition keyword so RV logbook camping journal it does have more than 1200 competitors however you can see that the average monthly earnings is over $900 and the searches are also high so I'm going to grab this keyword so RV logbook camping journal and then once again I'm going to try adding some singular keywords as well so if I go back over here you can see that there's the word campsite there's the word travel so I'm going to add these keywords as well actually I already have the word travel so I'm not going to add travel I'm just going to add campsite and then you can also use this column for words that appear in your mind as well so a word that's just appeared in my mind is caravan so I'm going to type in caravan and then also men and women boys girls so you want to continue to do this until you find more keywords so if I go back to this tab I'm just going to search for other keywords I can use as well so campground notebook so I'm just going to type in campground so once again a new search And because the category is selected as books, if you type in singular keywords, it's only going to give you keywords related to books and it's not going to give you camping stuff in general, such as camping tents. So you can see here there's the keyword campground journal. Previously I used the keyword camping journal, but there's this keyword as well. So you can see here that for campground journal, it has medium competition whereas for camping journal it has high competition so it might be a good idea to create a book that has its title as campground journal so I'm going to grab this keyword as well and type it in and then let me just see if I can grab a few more singular keywords so 2022 business 2022 so there's people typing in 2022 so now that it's 2022 people will be typing in 2022 and when it's 2023 people will type in 2023 so I'm going to include that keyword as well so what you want to do is through this process you want to gather between 7 to 10 or up to 15 keywords that you can use and then later on you're going to decide which ones you're going to include in the back end and there's only seven slots so you're going to select seven long tail keywords that you're going to use so I'm just going to find a few more keywords and then once I'm done I'm going to return back to this page here. So you can see here that I've got a bunch of keywords that I can potentially use in the back end. So I've got a total of nine keywords but I can only use seven long tail keywords. So it's at this stage that you want to select seven and the ones I'm going to select are these ones here. So I'm just going to copy them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six and then I'm just going to grab one more so this one here and then what you want to do is fill up the remaining spaces with other singular keywords so I'm just going to add in these keywords here so adults couples so I've completed the process and you can see here that I've got my keywords ready which I'm going to put in into the seven keyword boxes and as I've previously shown you these keywords consist of low and medium competition keywords and now it's just a matter of copying them and then pasting them in the back end when uploading your books. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to learn more about Publisher Rocket, then do let me know down in the comments below. And also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.